Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my stream. Oop. Sorry, bumped the camera a little too far. There we go. Uh, I hope you all have had an amazing week. And if not, I hope you are looking forward to the weekend. And if you're not looking forward to the weekend, hopefully I can provide some bit of um, something. Diversion something. Anyway, before we get started, <clears throat> change of plans. I was going to have to skip my stream on this coming Tuesday. However, things have changed, which means that uh, my stream will continue on Tomb Raider Tuesday as usual. Um, however, the following Monday, I believe it is. Uh, let me check the calendar real quick. Yeah, the following Monday will have I, we will be taking a break essentially for on the following Monday. Uh, so not the 17th, not this coming Monday, the Monday after that, um, if I'm remembering correctly. And if uh, pay attention to my Discord and my socials and my Twitch schedule for updates on that as it comes. Um, but uh, yeah, so other than that, I don't really have any announcements other than I have a Patreon and, in, and you can get there by going to this link tree or by typing in this URL on screen, patreon.com slash crimson knight. That's patreon.com slash K R I M Z O N K N I G H T K R K R I M Z O N K N I G H T. <coughs> um, so, you know, if you want to support me, you can. If you don't, I don't know. I'm fine either way, you know? Anyway, do I have any other announcements that I can think of? Not really off the top of my head. So let's go ahead and get back into Night in the Woods. <coughs> Excuse me while I die. <coughs> Hey, May. Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's talk to... Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the blank, ton the blank tones next week. Okay. Oop, nope, not that button. Gregory. Hey, kid. Snack falconing! Snack falcon! Eagles in the snacks! Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. And from B. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it, me. You know the drill. All right. Could play some bass, but which song? Um, Space Dragon! Die anywhere else? Cycles, I believe we've played Cycles. Weird Autumn, TikTok. Good head guy, what? Oh, I can't access my journal! Yeah. Um, Let's do TikTok. I know that's one of the new ones. Cycles and TikTok are both new, so we'll do each of those once. Helps if I'm pushing the right buttons.
Oops. Boop. Damn it, too many times. Excuse me. <coughs> Not bad, considering I don't know how to play this song. Yep, okay. Uh, and... Not Space Dragon, not Die Anywhere Else. Cycles is what I'm thinking. Yeah, Cycles. Wrong button. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Lost my, lost my, lost the vibe. Hold on. <laughs> Damn it, wrong button. That bad. Yep. 
All right. Dot, 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 dot. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. We'll check in here. Check in here. Check all the things! Checking! Nope. Okay. Nope. Wrong way. Sorry, May. I was not paying attention. Birdo! Birdo? Talk to Birdo? Hey, Burb! Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Whee! Looks nope. Okay. Bless this mess. Hey, mom. Good morning. There's my little sunshine Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay. Well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom. It's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems. And the house. And I'm just so sorry. Sorry, I thought the wrong person was talking. You, we, wouldn't be in the situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay. Really, we'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done. And we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. And whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. Sniffle. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I need to pay more attention to who's saying what. <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on, go back in. Cause sometimes there's more conversation there and I want to talk to her some more. Um, you have any more to say? You do. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can like give you half of one, only half. Honey, you're, you know, short half would be fine it's fine mom okay let me know if i can help any uh, let me know if i can be any help thanks mom Oh, 
Hey, Ant Mall Cop. Oh God, what do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just had a thought. Oh, she's gone. Damn it. Fine. Selmers! <coughs> hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh, longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You notice anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else from, our, from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Oh, come on, up the stairs, May. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. All right, up. <coughs> All right, nobody's on the roof over here. All right, anything over here? No. Let's check the tunnel. Anything going on in here, y'all? What you got? Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain canal be bare? Canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. Excuse me, god damn. All right.
All right, now up to the church. I'm gonna have to play this game again after I beat it on stream so that I can play it properly, you know? Say yes to all the things. No Pastor Kate, okay. Emma. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh geez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That's such a creepy sentiment. Such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creepy dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the lib in a nap back in the library room? Oh wow, I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, mom. No problem, sweetie. <coughs> Well, that's not weird. Oh, I bet that's the grandfather. That was adorable. Ah! Curious if it'll let me nap in there again. So no, it won't let me. She just sits there and chills. Oh, that's right. That's step up there. All right. All right, let's go check to see if Bruce is actually gone. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Yup. White people love their statues. And I say that as a white people. There's Pastor K. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? 
Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. Guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. You seem pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Dude committed suicide. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I bet he just offed himself. I bet he offed himself. Because I bet his kids were dead. They were all waiting for him on the other side and home being like heaven. Complained? About what? What are you playing? I don't think anyone cares, honestly. Or they like it. I'm fine either way. You okay? Oh. Yeah. I'm like, only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. <coughs> you should get some cold medicine and some crackers and ginger ale and lay in bed and watch bad movies. I feel like that won't fix this one. One time I got pneumonia and I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. Hmm. 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 May, you okay? Hmm. 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 May. Ugh. Sorry. Spaced out there for a sec. You should like see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh. No problem. All right. Well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya! Killer! Alright. My rat babies! Look at them! Open! Op open! There we go. Rat babies! Brat babies! The brat babies! Excuse me. Must be weird to sleep in this bed every night. Alone in the building? Except for that- uh, except for the telezoft a couple floors down. Maybe they work there. Just come downstairs in their pajamas? Hey, everybody, I just woke up and I live at work. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. What's even in this closet? I feel some shoes, some shirts, I think. OK, they've got a golf club or something. Oh, weird. They have a sword in here. I could take the sword and rob a bank. Hands up, citizen. I'll jam the sword in your neck. <laughs> I could wear a mask and a cape. Who was that dashing thief? that threatened to stab the bank teller in the neck. Ugh, my life is a wreck. I'd probably stab my own neck on accident. Get it together, May. But seriously, where does this person pee? In, in the closet. Mrs. Miranda should meet whoever lives here. They can talk fridges. I could like, see what's in this dresser. 
me? Is this what it's come to? You're stealing from a stranger's weird apartment. What even are you doing with yourself? And they probably don't have anything good. So there's no excuse. <laughs> Facts, though. <laughs> Sorry. I want to talk to Roof Cat. I missed. Again. Eh. There we go. Damn it. May. Up, up. There we go. The old pickaxe. Yeah, let's go pop in on uh, on B. Hey, Bay. Whoa, whoa. Dude, I, dude, are you like, okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for, have, had a headache for days. You should like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head, and my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. No. Hmm. Alright, later, B. That's it, shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed in it, landed the new job. Yep, moving into I'm uh, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. <laughs> well, yeah. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! Yep. Germ, hold on. Let me check down here. Oh. Germ! Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem something too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. No problem. I gotta get home. Where do you live? 
across the parking lots up the hill back in the woods huh never been back there I have yes you have see ya later Jeremy A germ would know how to get through the fence to get home, you know? So maybe the person who's the ghost that May saw was uh, more just a... Uh, Was more just a uh, someone who's used to being on the other side of that fence, you know? Someone who knows a way around or through it without whatever, like germ, you know? Could be. Maybe. Mayhaps. May happenstance be. What's up? What's in the news? Birds flying south early this year. What does that mean? They know something we don't. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but only got up here the nerve to break in recently. Why's that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. I told him about you playing over here by your lonesome. Oh, okay. Maybe you could play together. Do you know anything about this guy? He's not a murderer. I don't think he's a murderer. Okay, well, thanks. <clears throat> All right, let's talk to Gregory. Anybody else in here? Nope. All right. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feels, I feel like I barely slept, even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So what are you up to today? Just saying, hey. You wanna check out that store? Mm, do we wanna go with Gregory first or his boyfriend? Let's go with the boyfriend first. Just saying, hey. Hey. Yeah, let's go with the boyfriend first. 
One who is the car. So I, so I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. You think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> the park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play Frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a Frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the Frisbee. I mean, fair. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> I mean, what she, what they do in their spare time is not my business. Oh boy. It's a weird old place up here. <coughs> There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Wait, can I just like get on the hill? No? Okay. that way <sighs> you all right yeah I got asthma is all sorry you gotta wait for me you have an inhaler yeah but I saved that for emergencies being slow isn't an emergency what is this thing this is like a lime kiln I think kiln like a furnace Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh, limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like this was all underwater or something at some at one point. Whoa, I know, right? Like right where we're standing, where there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, can I like shove myself in that? No. And here's another one. <gasps> Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No problem. <laughs> so if this place was underwater where'd the water go <coughs> i don't know to the ocean i guess and like the earth is always shifting so mountains all get pushed up where it used to be just flat ground 
weird because things are so boring nowadays to think that uh, think like all that crazy stuff was going on here there's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later okay i'm ready to go cool cool and a third kiln okay <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creatures rock, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime, stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. That happened. It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens! Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Man, Angus is a... is my soul animal. God. Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Used to come up here with my troop. Like a decade ago. You're the ancient sea monster now. Looks like it. Wow, looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? Uh, we made these little windmill things. And each put up an anonymous note in them. And each put an anonymous note in them. Attached to this little spring-controlled helicopter. And the idea was that when the wind would pick up, the windmill would wind the helicopter. And the note would fly away. Looks like some of them blew back. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes left from the year before. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here. I'm gonna hike up here, been a while. The uh, little windmill things, the contraptions that I've been toying around with that stuff flew out of. Got one. Got one. Got one! Got one! And then over here, okay. I hope that's all of them, because I don't... I'll be sad if I missed any of them, you know? I think that's all of them with how, how much I've gone over town, you know? Whoop! Fell off. I think you got them all. From what I can spot, at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them, let's read them. Wait, should we though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Any ones up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 okay. Let's read one. Okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name. And that's fine. Because I'm a scout. And that is the only name I need. Wow, that's intense. It goes on. The scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show my worth. Jeez. I would kill for the scouts. That's it? We're all, you all like this? Kinda. Sometimes. No. Maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it! Hold on just a second. I need to... Hold on just a second. My windows got all screwy. Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. <laughs> nice. Angus, did you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about being, uh, was like being strong and good. And gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came through to the discerning reader. All right, let's read this note. <clears throat> 
I like shooting arrows. They are cool to shoot. In fact, I think we should sh we should shoot arrows instead of guns when we're in the army. It has a tactical advantage in that it is silent and also elegant. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, this one got kind of torn up. Maybe a bird got it. Read the bird note. I am extremely unhappy and you're the only person who knows. Oh, okay. Hmm, what? Not much changes. Could have just as easily been our notes from 10 years ago. Yeah, there's like a timelessness about people. Some things just don't stop being what we are. Hmm, yeah, hmm. Well, that was a hike. I was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird, used to be open back then. Hmm, ready to go? Not far now, step ahead. Graveyard. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre that like labor strike thing where it was like the miners versus national guard happened back in town like a hundred years ago why are they up here i think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town oh huh there's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times i guess there's one up here somewhere too <coughs> well that's spooky Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Wow. We're up really high. And really far out can't see town from here it's south of us behind whatever ridge that is so what are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens you tell me you're the expert I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens nice night yeah back at school I couldn't see as many stars that always made me sad oh yeah they're really nice up here I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them all other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together. And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something? God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find some constella- find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh god, do I have to remember any of these?
a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? No? Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and... Oh, yeah! Adina and the Frozen Lake! Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny things was good at getting through the forest I was really good at stealing oh wow yeah I used to call him ass ha ass cat well I when I was little well then he stole a demon not a demon he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death but he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something huh decent extremely decent Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's, uh, I know this one a uh, little from, like, Prog Rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. It's a whale, and it's got, like, oh, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big, or they didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. It's a poop. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those p first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are... And the stars are pretty. But you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. My mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry 
and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. It's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at, at, at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like, I'd try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kinda old now. I, ugh still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. Who knows where he is or if he, he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't wanna know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway. To your original question, testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic, a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or, you know, or no. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no. Yeah, no ghosts or God. But, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? <coughs> um, well, so, like, the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I, uh, believe that the stars exist. And that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the, spa through the space between stars. Like, we're pattern finders. We'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to... Even, even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Agnes. A Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. No. No. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us in the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Paul? Wearing some kind of a, uh, some kind of weird coat, like a utility coat or something. Oh God, that's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh God, oh God. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. 
deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Oh shit, he's chasing them. <laughs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up? Uh, that wasn't too far from there. Why does no... Oh, shit. May! 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 May? What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Ugh, my head. Jeez. Ugh. Okay, well, let's get you home. No! Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. Excuse me. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. But, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Ghost that's in my head, there's a ghost following me. I have no idea. Let's go with the first one. Like, the night after I saw the kidnapping, or I think it was a kidnapping, I had this dream I barely remember, except for this sound, this horrible sound, and this feeling. I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. It, it's like someone rips open a hole in my brain. You know, you guys don't believe me. Not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There's like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines? You saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know. Stress is weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. What? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. Let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want to, you know, don't want you wandering or up around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghost. I haven't been on a hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. They are. All right, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Thought is Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Okay, back to the start. Rip, Granddad. Parents forgot you. Mom and Eels. Dad looks older. Still funny though. Meets. Thought this place is falling apart. Big skeleton. Thought Aunt Mall Cop is planning to kill me. A cab. D O H R. 
pasties. Ghost laundry. Hello, B. Did you get my texts? Stalker statue. Reg rules, okay? B. Beatrice Santello. Maybe. Die anywhere else. Weird autumn. Gregory's pizza scale. The arm and the tattoo. Uh, how the hell do you draw a space dragon? Charity Barity is a nightmarity. Angus. Germ. Thought. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. Granddad. Thought. Come back to life, Granddad. F the cops. Thought. Never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah, dumb shit. Everything feels bad. The da it's Selmers. A poet. A good poet. Thought. If I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Mysterious Tooth. Thought. Roof cat is correct. Mallard forever. Miracle rats. Thought. Nuke Possum Springs. Honey, I'm Horm. Pastor K. There's the saint. Ru Rudello, Rupello, whatever it was. Bruce. Smash. Greg rules, okay? Bandit queens of the Fort Lucene Mall. All hail. Working, grr, angry furnace. Who makes a mummy? Ham Panther dinner fight. How did I mess that up? I wanted to help. I'm a I am garbage. Football. Sterling. Simone. Big Snake. Gramercy. Three weird teens I met. Halloween. Harfest. There's the ghost. And the hole in the brain. Pumpkin dead uh, pumpkin head guy. I think that the one on the left is for cycle. There's the the song cycle. Uh, and then that one's the where we found stuff in the tunnel. Grave guy. Career idea, grave digger. Jen, Greg's cousin, okay? Hella birds. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. That's the ghost person. Cole, Adina. No idea what that is. Lori M. Horror movies and trains. Bombshell. Oh, the girl at the dan at the dance. Mayday. BB. Stuck together. Don't suck together. Tonight, I uh, thought Angus is a, is psychic, but he his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Okay. How have I never been up here? How how have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Hey, Matt, good to see you, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. How goes? This old junk and trees and animals. <coughs> We're ghost hunting. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Pull all, put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? What's up? Nothing? Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? 
It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. So old. So old. Dude. Hey, May? I'm fine. You should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. Is that a fire? Or dawn? No, that looks like fire to me. What the? Huh? Oh my god. No. No. Ah, oh, hell. He's awake now already. Anyone got any juice? No. No. Guys. Ah, oh, hell. Guys. Guys, wait. Merv. You knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't... Couldn't, uh, called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd call me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we could figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But... But... I, I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking it straight out. Ah, hell. D Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Well, that was a lovely squelching sound. Hold still. This'll go easier if... Mm, yes. Delicious. Gosh darn... Gosh dang cultists. Exactly. The thing is, I think this is worse than cultists. I think this is worse than cultists. Ah, he's free. Lerv. Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself in more anguish and... Insert screaming sounds here. Ah, oh, hell, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. Ugh, God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> Gasp. The hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! I'm assuming I have to jump over the rocks. Part four, the end of everything. Well, that's reassuring. Nice. Nice.
Yeah. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Mm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been in order. Wow. All right, well. Oh shit, I'm playing as B now. <coughs> I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. Uh, big guy, dirty coat, or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. So no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yup. You're... Thanks, guys. Game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to we're going to see the blank st the blank tones in a few days, or we were. I don't know. Something happened to me. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. That's the spirit. So tired. Could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. I'll look at that in a second. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And yeah, maybe lasagna? Brown lasagna? I found one in the freezer. I'll eye all the food. Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Ah, no more than anyone else. So the guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yep. Were those guys, like, that guy? Yep, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. Needed to frost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? I don't know. Usually they have instructions on the back, my dude. Getting dark earlier. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, um. Wait. Everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be quiet. God.
God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. Niffle. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. I'm doing a different voice than I normally do for him. And and she loved to hear about him. She... I'm sorry. Can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher profile? Oh, where's the higher profile? Higher power. This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll, I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us back on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folk is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down the end of Center uh, Center Avenue. Someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. And May fell, and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All this takes is landing the wrong way one time, and oh. Uh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. They li her friends lied. <clears throat> I'm sure she. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What ha what's happened to this one? Do we know you? here to clean up ah supposed to be fixing a door in here nope okay so she's gonna be fine for today at least wise what what who are you janitor janitor a very godlike position if you think about it the house is gone may Thank God. What did you say, May? Dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey. Everything. I really need to replay this game from the start after this. Holy shit. Uh. Can't go that way. Oh my god. B. Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. May. 
came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. I should lay down. We can sleep in our bed. I feel, I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, it's not as good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. But she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh. Yes, take care of me, B. How well do you know this guy? We order pizza, uh, pizza what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I love how protective of May she is. Bought him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. Tim, it's, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. So what happened? We called the cops. And your your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream. Or like a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. He'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm going to just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. I love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat any. I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. Need your guts. For the moment, at least. <sighs> Excuse me. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this... I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home cool they've got wi-fi nice it's like we're in a real place at least within range i don't even have a phone because of this place 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't like water around the apartment. Don't push yourself. I don't think I've ever shipped a crocodile with a cat before, but I do now. What's that say about me? Luna freeze. Can we all hit the sack? Cool. I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh. Right. See ya. Bye, germ. Whoa. Okay. Not quite the cuddling on the couch I expected, but you know. You know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago. No? We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and I was playing the vid this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24 seven until this one afternoon. And suddenly like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. Characters on screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like, ju I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And, like, that realization, like, dumped out of this screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes, like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. And it was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's, uh, huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me a, he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda. Sorta. Since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the football game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. 
and there was this statue of like the founder or something a really shitty statue like all rusty metal and it was these shapes he was pointing down at me and i was so scared i didn't leave my dorm room i either didn't eat or i ate entire pizzas at once i downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time and finally i got up the urge to leave i came home where everything was fine where i knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me jeez something broke in my head in my life I don't mean to be like whatever but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff and like I can help you find I can help you find some help for it Dr. Hank already tried I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like i don't know what you're going through it exists i i thought when i came home i just felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days and then all this and 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 gonna be okay we'll figure this out i'm so scared i know we're all scared but we're gonna make it you should get some sleep i say it snore damn it may you missed your chance you missed your chance to a, to a confess your feelings to be and yeah matt right god damn i would say this game went from zero to 500 really fucking quick but it really didn't though bye guys love you the hole in the center of everything. <laughs> what are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine. Let's do this. Yes! Yes! Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa! Jeez, B! Ah! You okay? Where did? You are such an idiot. What were you thinking? Coming out here alone? Uh, this is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you gonna? Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people? Maybe? Is that your fault now? He. It. It's in my dreams. Hey kiddo we're out here outside your head whatever's going on in there i believe you but i'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods to die oh but shut up would you let me do this oh that's cheating putting it that way we're all in this now and even if we weren't 
I'd still be out here with you. Oh, friendship and possibly more for them. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. Dang it! S sister zoned. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. No, I have to go alone. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up. <laughs> Friendship. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. <laughs> Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. E it. Whatever. I have to go down in there. E it. Whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. I love the touch of May's of May having slightly glowing eyes and the cigarette light. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Uh -huh. Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. Oof. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Why is it a red elevator to hell? Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? But for real though, why is it a red elevator to hell? It's always the color red now. Always, exactly. We have Possum Springs tours and pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Yeah, an elevator to hell. Sure, of course you'd put that in your brochure. Well, here we are. <coughs> May? You okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh. Elevators to hell, Sith lightsabers, bad guys, eyes, freaking red. Absolutely. Shh. I heard something down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm all right. 
We should be quiet. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> Will it actually let me go the other way? Does not look like it, but I'm gonna try anyway. Nope, okay. Hey. Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. So I was talking to somebody earlier who was asking me about this game and was asking if it was a horror game. And I was telling them that I haven't played it completely yet, so I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be because I can't find anywhere online where it's referenced as being part of the horror genre. Well, <laughs> I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. There they are. They're right there. I'm going to kill them. Eda, you'll do no such thing. It's out of it's out of uh, <clears throat> it's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me so wait what the who are you bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors the <laughs> it's always a bunch of them good old boys then then why are you trying to kill me kill you nobody's gonna kill you all of you are part of this town by family relation or just by being hard workers? Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just like leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Ida? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He, oh, oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? But, oh God, I've seen this or I've, I felt it. 
was Ed Scooter was Ed Scooter and Jim Dorney who found it 20 years back or so after the West Mine closed out past Brittle that Vest Schumacher last supervisor was out there when the company locked off the entrance carved his initials and date in the door then you got this mine the old one not even a proper mine big hole copper abandoned shoot long before any of us were born too close to water and that water was poison when the first sellers came out here that old spring used to be right above where we're standing but that water dried up 1992 or some or so some men from west mine come back up here to the tribe bootlegging practically built a new elevator and got the main tunnel cleared never found no coal but dug deeper and deeper till ed busts through that wall and finds this place and jim walks right into that hole and he never hits bottom ed calls down to jim jim don't answer but someone else does i know you heard that voice girl in dreams and in waking times it's what brought you down here what 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 is it black goat not even black like the color black like space between stars he's down there in that hole looking up at us right now don't talk to you he sings why would you just do something a hole in a why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to do you gotta understand in those days it was the end of the world jobs gone our kids were leaving government didn't care only wanted our votes just putting in more regulations sending our jobs overseas spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death yep always them good old boys with them small ideas and small brains Ugh, here we go god damn i hate this crap you old dipshits you finished yeah sure we prayed and prayed up at the church but when ed scudder came back down on here and listened he got answers back oh god i think i know yeah he's already in there singing to you right i i ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it but he was persuasive he had the glimmer the glimmer ones he takes a shine into it rubs off on you you can do things i never seen it but they said ed could walk through walls okay after ed talked to us it uh, talked us into all this after that first time after we picked one out well not only was the town holding stable but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too still a few of us left from back then first time first one into the hole by our own hands we own up to what we do i was there i was too you throw him in the hole there feeding him he's hungry like you wouldn't believe every few months or so he starts singing and it's someone's turn to find someone was that what you were doing the other night no what happened the other night was a shame one of, one of our numbers broke the rules and had to pay up that was a hard thing to do I think I'm gonna be sick we never pick no one who's gonna be missed that's a solid rule drifters drunks and delinquents you've been oh god oh no Casey the Hartley kid 
all he was going to contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a crap was a rap sheet a mile long or whatever said a sad end he'd wind up at we did him a favor you you killed Casey oh my god we don't use that word you know he was taking up business with his cousin right you know what happened to his cousin burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded they had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up that's where Casey was headed you killed Casey you want to act like we done, didn't do him a favor this whole uh, didn't do him and this whole town a favor God Casey's been down here the whole time his parents put up posters maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this which one of you did it Craig he was my friend all right now throw it that or own right now or I will shoot <laughs> what if I get you first bolt sticking right out of your eye bang bang you brought guns down here dangerous this far out in the woods at night basic safety I I throw it down son don't make this our time Greg dang it you're monsters none of this none of this is happening we are not monsters we do it because we love our home as long as we keep doing this Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're, you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying no opportunity here old people dying houses left empty you ever seen that a home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster a job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground but we can change that we can put this place back together where it won't be where it won't be just shapes of shapes I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the cops and say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run that you saw a hole okay fine why should we help you because if no one is here to do this you remember that flood a few years back you remember the blizzard of 2010 that's what happens and beyond that jobs never come back kids never come back everything crumbles possum springs bleeds to death and soon we'll all be dead and this town will just be fields and trees I've seen it I know you have 
I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't, ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ada. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ada, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. The truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Yeah. I, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror. Well, right? That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? It's tired to explain it right, but... Like... They lost what they th thought was gonna happen. Which is what had happened like a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Is everyone safe? Are everyone okay? Hey, May, where are you? That's not what she said. She said, are you okay? May, say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Sorry. <laughs> May? I've got you. It's gone now. Shit. How are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. Yeah, Matt, pretty much. Feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. 
All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, all the hands. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You could smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Uh. Hmm. I can I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the in the one foot of water. Right. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. That's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since, trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. N until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want to, to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalk you there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you sit? Did you smell that? <laughs> I bet he did. Do 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 do. <laughs> and May just goes back into the mine. <laughs> A mine! The great halls of Moria, and they called it A Mine! <laughs> oh, God. Wait. Do, 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 do.
walkie 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 What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Huh? Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I could try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. <laughs> there, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. Well, we'll watch. Okay. Just gonna... Valid. <laughs> this place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah! What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were in the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah! And you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? What is that? Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal this, uh, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. Why do you have dynamite? Why does he have dynamite? What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Oh yeah, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. You know, just a casual thing kids be carrying around. Dynamite, right? Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's ro broken and we caused a cave in. That was self defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. N no, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. Yeah! Yeah, they found some Eldritch Horror shit. Or some shit. Yeah. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, 
if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. At least he's honest, because I fucking would have too. Uh, what? They like killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. I agree, Angus. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Trolley problem! Yay, philosophy and ethics. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm going to type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. V, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could, if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store or like borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Aww. Exactly. Hold on. Did anybody reply? They all replied. Of course they did. Away oh, message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Oh. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Snalkin! Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing brand band practice, though. I'll see you there. All right. Snalkin! Snack Falcon! Falcon of the Snacks! Play some bass. But which song? You know what? Let's do die anywhere else. Because we haven't in a while.
just not here. Oh. not here oh no <coughs> not bad considering i don't know how to play this song all right epilogue stars so apparently we're finishing this game tonight god it's us it's just us home and us i don't know what this feeling is but I'm not gonna cry today. Hey, granddad's clock. Hey, granddad. Snack for Ken, more than meets the eye! Snack Falcon, Falcons of the Snacks. Burb. Hey, Burb. No, no talk to Burb. They're Burb. We're going to eat you for Thanksgiving, Bird. No, we're not. <laughs> Don't be mean to the bird. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. May, honey, is that you? Yeah! I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. I do! Hi. Hi! Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? I feel like my eye is itching. Hold on a second. Okay. <clears throat> Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just, I, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I, I, I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Honey, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. 
<laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Please stay in town close. Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the long, the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading that same book? Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord a calling their children. Bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other friend and kin. I hear the Lord a calling their children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. It's also a little creepy. <laughs> Dadders! Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it, I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Sp job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines in the factory, at least for a while. Unionize! 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 At least for a while, but here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. So, for those who may not be aware, there was a story about the mine workers unionizing and fighting those who were oppo the the managers and stuff who were against the unionization, and the workers literally attacked uh, a group of workers that literally attacked their boss beat him up and each of them pulled a tooth out of his skull and that is what started the union of their minds in this in this game <coughs> right right hell yeah And so, like, ooh, hell yeah. There's, like, I forget how many people in town who are descended from these people who still keep that tooth as a reminder to fuck the capitalists, you know? You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. 
Love you, kitten. Be back later, dad. Aww. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night light plan. We gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help you put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Right? For a game? Oh, look at the snow! Look at the snow! For a game that had some, has some genuinely, like, horror moments, it overall is really horse, wholesome. It's wholesome. Wholesome. Wholesome and adorable. Welcome to Historic Possum Springs, original county seat of Deep Hollow, Deep Hollow County. You're not lost, you're here. Wonder if we'll ever be a big boom in town again. Those guys last night were like deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. the mailbox on the mailbox squirrel squirrel uh. there's the mall cop and by mall cop I mean the ant hey dad dum de dum dum Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Fit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now I never considered that. May! Okay, fine. Thanks, bye. Selmers! Hey, May. What's up, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. The caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. Don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. Not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. The bad idea that's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. 
Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. And the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen! You could just hire some private cla uh, private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? <laughs> Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. All right, well, now that's settled. What are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Kazakov's up top. Okay, cool, cool, cool. start doing my own laundry sometime hey may hey mr jazikov i need more dust stars we can look at one more <laughs> Found it! Let us consult the guide. Asking the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. For a light and warmth. Sounds fest sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made uh, what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars. Or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons. And found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happened to you. That is nice. It's not bad.
So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on the roofs. You come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. There he is. Good old Erskine. to Casey Hartley. Into the tunnel. When winter come and wind and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. playing together look at that they found each other what's up teens hey you guys yeah stay safe all right ah thanks mom <coughs> are you our new mom apparently life man it goes slowly nah dude nah i wish those two playing the music would shut the f up hey Watch it. They're doing great. I'm loving this song. Listen to them jamming together. church no let's go check where Bruce was before we go in Bruce who I'm 90% sure committed suicide he'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow there may what are you doing oh just cleaning up how did the council vote go we lost i lost it was just me pushing for it really we've got all this empty space we could use it for so many things but you tried all we can do and god will show up when the time is right bruce was my friend Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but <laughs> run along, May. Hey, see you guys. So. Hey. Hey. You guys still doing that talking in order thing? Nah. Kept messing it up. We're kind of over the whole thing anyway. Oh, really? Yep. Because that pentagram thing was totally a thing. So, like, 
thanks. Huh, cool. And actually, everything you said was pretty spot on. Probably because we're actually psychic. Probably. All right, well, I can't tell what level of sarcasm we're working on here. Oh God, I sound like mom. Maybe no sarcasm. Maybe we're covering our tracks. So our cover isn't blown. Never change, weird teens. Please grow and become weird adults. Maybe we don't age. Maybe we stay young. Maybe we're here forever. Thank you again. For what? I don't remember doing anything. Who is this lady? I don't think I found all three of their pentagrams. I think I only found two of them. Which is probably why I didn't get an achievement just then. And that conversation probably would have gone differently if I found all three. <coughs> but there's also a whole shit ton of things that I didn't actually do because I didn't realize that it wouldn't end the fucking game. Hey, Lori! I wonder, are we gonna find out who lives in this fucking room? Oh. What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around to throwing it all out. I should, like, steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. We're really, I know it's after 10, but we're really close to the end of the game. So, like, I, I'm in the epilogue, you know? So, like, oh man, it's locked again. This blows, ugh. I'm, like, personally offended by whoever lives here. Whatever, whoever, whatever. Rude. So apparently we don't ever get to live and find out who lives up there. Okay. Eh. I heard you were like in the hospital or something. Haha, <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. So, the GOP. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So, you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Aw, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. 
be able to climb this soon once it gets icy enjoy it while the weather lasts may gonna split part-time how do they not have the hours it's a huge store how do they not have hours they got a computer program it's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something it spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees manager can't do much about it computer don't play favorites yeah, I guess you can't argue with the computer. Hell, you can. I do. I argue with mine all the time. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh, though. I laughed, too. You still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursdays is my only night off. We can all put in requests. Adult life be like that. And B said she was keep not opening the pickaxe tonight. Hey, janitor. Hey, it's you. <clears throat> Yup, yup. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How'd you know? I call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today and like have learned something. But I don't even, but I don't know if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Well, Done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> Wheeze ha ha ha. <laughs> Wait, how did you know my name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the janitor is God. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the janitor is supposed to be God. May falling down the hole. The shapes that she was talking about.
the party barn. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks like that. I've uh, never seen you around here before. I spent a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah! It's c cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. Sorry. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. No Angus. Now can. Holy crap! Uh, ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since. Since we got internet! We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to tour in a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Taco Buck. Oh my God, they deliver! I'm gonna eat sh the shit out of some tacos. You should eat the shit out of bees, Taco. <laughs> Taco Buck now hiring Taco Artisans delivery drivers all shifts eight dollars per hour that is not enough that is not enough make it 15 to 25 and then we'll start talking so you're a taco dude now i mean i was hired to be a taco artisan but i guess that means holding the sign out in the snow it's not really snowing that hard it's snowing there is snow in the sky falling how are the tacos here good i like tacos there are not one there is not one person on God's earth who does not love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they are now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck! Dine in, dine out, we deliver! <coughs> Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of the general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. It's a salad. That's a salad. <laughs> no, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <coughs> and life and the beat goes on. Da da dum da dum dum. Oh, this guy's friend moved. Dot, dot, dot. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. It's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's got to stand here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Go Smelters? Go Smelters. Go Smelters. I had to make his day. <coughs> I had to make his day because I know he's missing his smelters fan friend who used to hang out with him right here, who moved for work. Snelkin! 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 Of the snacks!
I just went into this snack and the snack pro no the bro food donkey or whatever the fuck it's called. My babies, my little rat babies. Well, not so little anymore. You've made it. You've broken free. It's a miracle. I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. And it was then and there that May Borowski was eaten alive by rats. Food donkey, I think is what they called it. I don't remember. Snack Falcon! Oh, I can't go up there. Okay, fine. All right. <coughs> News? What's in the news? It's gonna be a cold winter, worst in years. How can they predict that? Eh, future's all guesswork. All right, let's go to the Snack Falcon. <coughs> Snack Falcon! Falcon of the Snack! Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah, just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive. Uh, well, look who's live and well. You too. Yeah, yeah. Want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah, I think I covered everything. Yeah. Uh, this door just does not like to open, but it's worse in the summer. Bet it's worse in the summer. Oh, wow. There's a pentagram on this sticker. Can't read the band name on it. Cops Driller? I guarantee you it's not Cops Driller. Maybe it's like a German band with a name in English. Sounds like that. Guten Tag, we are Cops Driller. Auf Verden... Ver... Verdersten? Close enough. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. <laughs> I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. 
Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change and meet new people and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he's got more options. Angus thinks Angus thinks Greg like saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy who, who though if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out before you came back. They were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. Fair. So like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. You think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So like, I'm a little confused about what happened last night. There's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing? Uh, yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? Nope, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old, it's very old. You can like smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on and there are all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. It really does. <laughs> yeah. Kiss. God, I can't even wrap my head around these past two weeks. I think it's pretty understandable, May. There were these three weird teens and they told me to see I'd see a bunch of pentagrams. What teens? The ones we bumped into in the graveyard. Oh god, those teens. Anyway, they said if I saw three pentagrams, I'd get some sort of help. I actually saw one at the party we went to, and last night I saw one down in the tunnel. And it made me think. You remember Adina and the Frozen Lake? Folktale? Yeah, sure. That astronomer under the ice, or whatever, that couldn't find a star until after she died? The ghost star. Just thinking stars are upside down if you're looking at their reflections. That's true. Which is what you'd see if you were a reflection on the in the ice. Yeah, I get it. I read the story. I barely noticed it when we were down there last night, but today, just thinking about that, this feeling like at the end of everything, you can hold on to something or anything. Find the spooky ghost star. Put it on a map. Then you uh, have a map? I don't know. I'm hungry and tired. I feel like I got run over by a train that was carrying other trains. I'm really impressed you got all of that out of the, out of teens being weird and spooky. Pattern seekers. What? Something Angus said. We're good at finding patterns. Yeah. It's like a survival thing. Yeah. Yes! So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just gonna be more of them. I hope springs rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, <clears throat> how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay. Let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, we are home enough. Oh! 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 My heart! 
That was an arrow straight through my chest. Oh, God. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, LOL. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! I think God already has. There they are. <coughs> hey guys. What's up, nerds? How did you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. <laughs> hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Did we like tell his parents? <sighs> Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we like make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? No, you're right. The truth is insane. <laughs> so, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about that tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today could possibly feel normal. I was in that coma or whatever. I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future? Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. Bet's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Girl, I know that feeling so bad. The having a thought, having like a really pr uh, uh, profound epiphany, and then it just being gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah, good enough. And that was a night in the woods. I have no idea if there's more after the credits or not. <laughs> I do know there's absolutely some stuff that I missed. Um, Cause like, I know that there's some times I was asked to hang out by people that I said no to, that uh, I probably should not have said no to. And I wish I hadn't said no to. So I plan to uh, replay it myself, eventually. And uh, honestly, if you guys wanna pick it up and check it out, I highly recommend it. It's a really good game. It's a lot of fun. And while it's a bit heavy in places and a bit too real in others, and it's got that whole cosmic horror thing going, I honestly think that anybody could play it, you know? My one thing is I wish it gave you the option to, uh... to not have to do the rhythm, the rhythm sequences. Like, the, the Guitar Hero sequences. And I wish that it would be a bit clearer on which conversations you only have a single chance to have and which conversations you can come back and have again, you know? But other than that, <coughs> I've really loved this game. And the people who made it all did such an amazing job with it.
and Iko the cat. Or Iko. Anything after the credits? Or did you just put me back? Rip Casey. Oh, did they go? Does that mean they went on their road trip? Yeah, okay, we're absolutely back at the start now. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for... T I know we're a little later than usual, but uh, thanks... And thanks for staying late with me um, while I finish this game off. Next week, we'll be figuring out... So we'll be starting something else. Um, and I'll figure out what that is between now and then. <laughs> In the meantime... Check out these amazing people I have listed up here. melador has been in the chat and Yvonne B just finished celebrating her a week of her three year anniversary as a streamer. Um, also her birthday was in there as well. <coughs> um, you can find more recommendations in the link tree below. Also in that link tree, you'll find links to my socials, my discord and stuff like that where you can keep tabs on me or hang out with me and my friends and you know, talk shit and all that. Um, also is uh, my Patreon in my link tree or in just type in this Patreon link right here. Um, and you could, if you wish to support me directly, that's where you could go. Otherwise, uh, subscribe to me on Twitch or not. Or uh, yeah, you can also check me out on YouTube where my VODs go for most of my streams uh, a week after uh, I stream them. Um, and yeah, anyway, that's it from me for the week. We'll be back on Monday with more Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, and until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.